Welcome to sketch spray painting, crafting and do-it-yourself art. What's up my YouTubers, thanks for your great support, I'm really glad that you like my videos and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to make planet under planet and planet over planet so your picture can get really good three-dimensional look. If you have some questions, be free to ask me down below in the comment box. Stay tuned and let's go! So guys, this is gonna be our planet under planet and this one is gonna be our planet over planet. So what I'm planning to do, I just need to first to make stencil for this one and for this one and for normal planet we'll just use, if you don't know how to make normal planet, check here, I'll put in the cards a video where you can see how to make just normal spray paint planet. So, first thing, we're gonna make stencil for planet under planet. For example, if this is gonna be our planet, let's say that this is gonna be our planet, we want to do planet under planet. So, we need to make this kind of stencil here, from here to here, or if you want to make the more visible planet, you can just make it like this. So first we're gonna cut this stencil. For the planet under planet, we're gonna use this stencil and for planet over planet, we're gonna use stencil like this one. So basically, we're just gonna cut larger size hole. We're gonna mark. So we just need to cut this hole. So for planet under planet, we're gonna use this stencil and for planet over the planet, we're gonna use this stencil. I fold these edges when I spray with spray can, so paint don't go on my picture. So here it is guys, two stencils that we made. I already tried this stencil. I'm gonna show you what to do first. First, you want to mark where it's going to be your top planet and you want to add color like this here so for example if this is going to be our blue planet we're going to add layers of paint Okay, so this is gonna be our top planet. We won't touch anything for now. Now we're gonna make our main planet. So for the main planet, we're gonna use this large pot. And we're gonna mark where it's gonna be our planet. This is up to you which color you're gonna use for your planets. For 
I choose these colors for this planet so you can see the difference between contrast. And I'm gonna finish this main planet now. I'm just gonna make some texture. We'll come later on this planet, so for now we're just gonna finish this one. Make it dry well. We're gonna cover this planet with lead. And we're gonna use our first stencil that we made for planet under this big planet so I'm just gonna put it here and mark where it's gonna be our planet as I already say you can choose colors that you want Also, you can use texture by your choice. I just use this bowl to, to protect this area. You'll get better texture when you cover it. And with black color or space color, it's your choice which color it's gonna be. Will, be. will it be red or it's gonna be blue? It's just totally your choice. To make contrast between each planet, I like to just add lighter color from the back side. Of course, stars. So we're gonna take care for this planet later. For now, we're just gonna remove this first one. And as I said, I'll and as I already said, I'm gonna add lighter color from backside so I can make the contrast between these two planets.
so we have planet we have planet under planet we just need to settle this planet over planet which we're gonna do with this stencil also before we put this stencil on make sure that your picture is totally dry and you can speed up the process of drying by using this transparent spray can. I get a lot of questions what fire do to picture. It's just basically speeding the process, process of drying. We're gonna basically add the same color that we add on the beginning on this planet. third planet planet over the planet it's finally done Guess what guys, I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna do planet over planet over planet with this smaller one stencil that I already have in my stencil collection, so. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you have some question and or suggestion, be free to let me know down below in the comment box. And if you didn't subscribe yet, consider subscribing for more future videos. Stay tuned and I love you all.